Shorten it up a little so we could get more of these guys on. Where's Luke? I know. I forgot. From West End to New Prospect, this is the legend. 105.3 and 95.3 WDXE. Well, what are we going to do now, folks? She left. She <laughs> ran off and left us. She sure did. Yeah. Pat, what did you say to her to make her some money? I don't know. I didn't realize she was so sensitive. Yeah. I didn't either. <laughs> she put a full name. But of course, we are at the we Flora Mid South Rock Stars. And Flora has uh, went to get a guest and uh, dragged up another chair. Yep, we got a really big show for you today. You oh, wait a minute. Shoes. Was that Teresa? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, that was Teresa's last. That was Teresa's last. Okay, we got Nathan with our quote of the week. All right. Well, I want to get through this the best I can, but it's from uh, Russell okay. Russell Sage. Uh, the quote is going to be: "Real estate is an imperishable asset, ever increasing in value. It is the most solid security that the human ingenuity has de de devised. It is the basis of all security and." And about the only indestructible security. Russell Sage. Russell Sage. Russell Sage. Yeah, they don't make any more land. They do not. No. They do not. So. I gave up on that one. What? Huh? Sorry. Yeah, nothing. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear you. All right. Um, we've got a. Uh, you probably have to write. We've got a, a full show today, and uh, some exciting guests, and I am excited to. Um, let you know that we have singer songwriter uh luke kelly here and he's going to be singing and telling his story and giving uh giving us a sample of his music then we have mike stetter stetter and then we have gary who are they're going to talk about a singer songwriter 
show that's coming up on Saturday at Stutters. And I wanted to let you know, Mike was gracious enough to give us two tickets. So during this hour, we're going to take qualifiers for the tickets. And if you call 931-766-9393, you could qualify for these tickets. The show is this Saturday at 7 p.m. And uh, it's a show that I've been to a couple of the other ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, it's a really good show. And it, you'll really enjoy yourself. And you get real personal with the songwriter. And Mike, can you tell us a little bit more, or Gary, who our songwriters going to yeah, be? Yeah, so uh, my, my guest, uh, I'm hosting the show. And, and my guest is Dave Gibson from the Gibson Miller Band. Um, Dave uh, has written six number one songs. Uh, he's won all kinds of awards. Um, you know, he's written songs for Alabama, Joe Diffie, uh, Confederate Railroad, you know, iconic songs. Um, and uh, so he's going to get up there, share some stories with us, tell us how he wrote those songs, and he's going to play them just the way that he wrote them. I like the backstories. I like the, the reasoning behind songs, and I like the, you know, how they came up with them and that kind of stuff. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's the part I like. I think they, uh, the last time we had Wynn Barber was there, and he wrote the one waiting on a woman yeah <clears throat> and the backstory on that i just you know it tickled me just listening to him talk about waiting on his wife uh -huh. he wrote a, a great <laughs> song just waiting on always waiting on his wife and it just it, you get to learn that type of stuff at these types of shows right right and that's the that's like i said that's the part that i like and uh because you don't get to hear that on the radio you don't get to hear that at, at concerts usually so this is a get to know somebody kind of personal and hear their backstories and stuff so you don't want to miss it. It's this Saturday at Stedders, um, back behind Crystals, and it's at 7 p.m. And it's a great venue. It's great sound. It's it's a, a small little venue where you're going to get personal, and uh, we get to hear Gary sing. Gary's also a, a singer songwriter. He's got a couple hits of his own, so he's going to sing, and. Um, I think it's going to be a good time. So the tickets are available. You can go. You can call Stutters, Mike. The number. You can call us at uh, nine three one two four four six six five nine, and you can get your tickets, and we'll hold them at the door for you. You can stop by and pick them up. In a heartbeat, and I was wondering where that was coming yeah, from. Yeah, it was just my thought. Sorry, yeah. great beat, but you can't dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, we are here at the show today, and we have two tickets available. We'll take qualifiers. If not, we'll take them to the office, and we'll, we'll and we will, we will take um, calls there at the office to give out the two tickets. And if nobody calls, I'll use them. Is that how that works? <laughs> wow. I wondered if you caught wow. that or not. Dang. I wondered. Dang. All right. So um, I've got a question. And, and uh, I also want to uh, let everybody know that Luke Kelly is here. And Luke is a singer-songwriter. And he's got a gr couple great songs that I've listened to. And uh, later on, he's going to play. So stay tuned for that. But... For everybody here in the room, which we have a full room, I want to throw out a question. It's a real estate question, of course, because that's what we do on the side. But um, what? why would a property not sell? Why, if you have a listing, an agent has a listing, and what would be some of the reasons why it wouldn't sell? Price too high. Okay. Anybody else? Bloody. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, not updated. It's run down. Okay. All right. It is poor pictures. Trying to sell it by owner. True. True. Um, it could be the pictures online. It could be the marketing. It could be overpriced. It could be uh, not updated. Uh, anything else? Needs too many repairs. Correct. Correct. So the... The reason I ask that question is because that's why you hire an agent. That's why you hire a professional in the business um, that has some experience because we are here to help you with those. You know, like our team, we have a marketing plan specifically for your property. We also have pictures. We either take pictures ourselves or we have pro uh, professional pictures taken. We do drone pictures. 
um, we sit with you and we talk about the market value and what we should list the house for. You know, you sometimes sellers have um, a lot of sentimental reasons for their house and a lot of sentimental value and sentimental value does not appraise. So we got to help you step back from that property and really look at it as you are a buyer. And we help you with that. We help you with um, property lines if we need to. We help you with anything that needs to be. The most important thing that we do is advertising and then the paperwork. We make sure that we keep you legal. We make sure we keep you out of jail. And we make sure that um, the buyer and the seller are both happy. We work well with all the other agents here in town. And uh, we want to make sure that your property gets sold and for the most amount of money that we can. With that being said, you also want to make sure if you are a buyer that you have representation for yourself as well because um, it, who hired that listing agent? Who hired that person, the name on the sign? The seller did. So what, what is that job for that uh, agent? that has the name on their front yard? Well, they represent the seller mm -hmm. and they make sure that the seller gets the highest price possible, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, if they, they can't really represent the buyer as well as, you know, they can the seller. Uh, actually in that, that instance, there is no representation. When a, for when, either. Right, for either the seller or the buyer. So you have no representation when you, the buyer called that listing agent and the listing agent then is working with both buyer and seller, that agent cannot represent either one of you. So then, you know, you'd have no representation. And a lot of people think that if they call that listing agent, they get a better deal. Right. And that just don't happen. No, no. In fact, it'd be the opposite mm -hmm. in reality. So anyway, it's really important that you call your agent or call an agent, um, make <clears throat> sure that you have a marketing plan Make sure somebody just doesn't stick a sign in your front yard, put it on the MLS and call it done. You know, make sure there's a marketing plan. You know, we here at Flora, we have um, a database of over 10,000 people that we market to on a regular basis. Then our networking that we have, our networking is over 11,000 people and in the United States. Also, we've got some networking in Canada, and then I've got some uh, other real realtors in 25 other countries. So that is a huge networking base to get your property advertised. And um, so just to throw that out there. Yeah, people are coming from all over to Tennessee because we have no state income tax. Mm -hmm. Our property taxes are low. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place to be. Our money goes farther here. Yeah. You get more for your money. Mm -hmm. You do. You do. So, um, anything else you got going on, Nathan? You want to tell your story? Uh, well, I just got my license. Thanks, Commission, for approving, getting that uh, put through. Uh, so, if you need, need any business, give us a call and uh, eager to work for you. Yep. Nathan has had real estate in his life forever, I think. Yep. I had, uh, you know, being seven, eight years old, sitting around the kitchen table, hearing grandma and grandpa talk about it all the time. And it was just, I was just always been around and involved. And then I was uh, in a kitchen for many, many years. So time to branch out a little bit. As a cook. Yeah. And he is a good cook. Mm -hmm. So yes, so Nathan is available. He's hungry, he's eager. And if you want somebody to do a good job for you, um, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. So oh, hold up now. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, anything else you got going on? Any new listings? Anything that our office has? What about rental properties? Well, we do have some rental properties. I got one uh, new one that's on the market. It's out on Scenic Road. It's on Scenic Road out there in the western part of the county. It's a three bedroom, one bath. It has a big bonus room back there. And it also has a detached garage. And there's a little pen back there if you wanna have some chickens maybe. And it does have a storm shelter out there. So you can give me a call and we can get you hooked up with that one. All right, what, is, what about new listings? I think Holly's got a new listing. Oh, it already went under contract. Yeah, it went on the market and went under contract. Just bam. So. 
I don't know anybody else that's got a new one. You've got some property over in Hornwall. I do. Um, I have some land up in Hohenwald that we have for sale. I've got um, a lake house, a river house. I mean, it's on an inlet and it's a two bedroom, one bath house. It's really cute, comes furnished. It's got a big yard. It's sitting on um, the inlet out to the river and it hold, the inlet holds water. The dock is always afloat. You could put a pontoon boat there and it's listed under 200,000 and it's, it's just cute as could be. And it'd be a great, it'd be a fun summer house. Yeah. And uh, I've got a house on Quail Drive out there, and we've reduced the price on it. So if you call me up, and we can see what we can fix you up with that. All right. Well, um, a little bit about numbers aren't sexy, but they do tell a story. And the numbers that we have um, for last week, pretty good numbers. Um, we have currently, we have 71 listings right now in the market, which is very low. We usually run around a 200, used to run around a 200 um, count inventory. And right now we're, we're sitting at 71. So if you are thinking about selling, this is a great time. It, it's still a good time to sell. It's still a good time to buy because we're in a quote normalized market. And I think that um, buyers or sellers would have a good, a good chance of getting a good deal. Uh, we have 12 pending listings. And last week we had five properties sell, which was okay. You know, it seems like a light week, but um, the days on the market, and that's the number that I really want you to focus on is um, list date, list to contract. What that means is the day that you put it on the market till it goes under contract, that's 123 days. So, and then additionally, from once it goes under contract till it goes to close is an additional 36. So you're looking at about 160 some days from list to close. And those are important numbers because, you know, if you're setting on the market for a very long time and you're not getting any offers, you're not getting any action, you've got good pictures, you've got good advertising, and it's just not moving, then most likely it's the price. And I think that's why some of them are sitting on the market a little bit longer. Um, the other number that I want you to pay attention to is list price to sell price. And what that means is what the seller put the property on the market for, and then actually what it sold for, that percentage. Right now, sellers are getting 98.69%. That's that's a really good number. That's that's higher last year, I think, or the year before we were getting 105 percent. But, you know, like I said, we're in a more normal market. And so we're getting, you know, more normal numbers. And the 98 percent is is a good number for a seller. And it's OK for a buyer, you know. Well, too, you got to think that's not just the number you throw out there. And, you know, hope somebody takes it. Correct. Your, your real estate agent has to help you find the right price market, the market price on that. What's a good price to market it at that you can get some uh, movement on that? Correct. Correct. Um, an average sale price. Are you ready? This is just always blows my mind. For the sale price last week, which means that they take the average of the properties that sold, is $314,800 for Lawrence County. That's just wild. I, I just think, I remember when I moved here and I, I sold my very first house, which was $9,000. And um, I come up from West Palm Beach in that price market and I come here and I sell that and that, it just was different. <laughs> and then the average sale price was 99,000. So a lot of things have changed in 13 years. All right, um, now we're gonna take a little break. And when we come back, we're gonna listen to um, uh, Luke Kelly and play, and then we're gonna talk some more to Mike and Gary. Sorry, all of a sudden, I get nervous. And I can't look at anybody because then I can't, I can't concentrate. I'm not a DJ, I'm a real estate agent. So being a real estate agent, you can't talk to people? Oh. <laughs> Not like this, no. What's your name? Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you need to, Luke you guys need to meet each other. Yeah. Well, they just eat it. Well, I know, but I need to. Yeah. 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 Where are you from? You have a cool accent. 
I'm from Zimbabwe, oh, Africa. Good That's so cool. Man. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I have a really I good friend of mine from talk. South Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Are you from here? No, not at all. I'm from Texas. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, we just moved here like three months ago, man. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Good music scene in Texas. It's, you, you got your Texas country there. That's really what's popular, you know. But what, what I do really don't fall into that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, guide you in the right direction. You'll see here in a minute. <laughs> Do you play local? I hardly ever play. Oh, you don't? Uh, man, it's not that I don't want to. It's just that uh, we're just now like really getting started. You know, we only had one release last year, and it was just a digital release. But this year, we actually had radio single this year. So and we're just now like that thing. Just I was here with him maybe two months ago. That's how I found you because I seen his his Facebook and I seen you and I reached out to you that way yeah. and that to have you on the show because I love the songs that I heard you know and then you shared the other one so Mike always has not always Mike has a calendar that's kind of full but he has um, people come in and perform like on a Friday or Saturday night and uh, you need to talk to Mike to see if he could get you any time to play I'm always down to play. That, that's so, what I was asking for. If you play local, yeah. yeah I'm, no, I mean I'm always down for. We do. A, we're playing, or I am. I'm just doing a broken down acoustic set on June 16th over in Lewisburg, <clears throat> a little outdoor venue or whatever. Uh huh. The doing, winery over there. No, it's the. Uh-huh. Uh, the 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 coffee shop. They do live music do. on Friday down by the creek. So, yeah. Hi, you are back. This is Flora Rockstars, rocking the real estate news and all things local. Uh, our guest today is Mike Stetter from Stetter's Restaurant. We have Gary, who um, is a singer-songwriter. And then we also have... Um, Blake, um, I always want to say that. Luke Kelly. Blake Blake (laughs) Shelton from the (laughs) boys. Not really. Not really. But um, Luke Kelly, and he's going to play out. Mike, tell us a little bit more about the um, the singer-songwriter night. Give us a brief update on it. And... uh, Gary, give you a little two cents with it too, and this let us be, know. This will be the uh, fourth songwriter night that we've done at Stetters, and uh, we were fortunate to have one of Gary's friends named David Gibson coming out with us to uh, this Saturday. So if you were part of any of the other three, you you realize it it's a fun time. You get to meet these guys, you get to hear their stories behind the songs, and sometimes you think you know what the words of the song mean has nothing to do with what the songwriter was thinking when they were writing it. So it's just fun that you get to learn that type of story behind the the storyteller's music. So That's it's my just, it's just a fun night. Tickets are twenty five dollars, are available now. Uh we're gonna sell out probably fairly quickly. It's um we only hold ninety people in there, so we have room for people to get up and mingle and walk around. So we keep it very intimate. So if you get a chance to come out, come out and see us on Saturday or call at 931-244-6659 and you can order tickets and we can hold them at the door for you. You can stop by and pick them up. But you'll also have a chance to see Gary perform. And I know. If you've seen him perform before, I, you'll, he has some the number one hits that he's written. My favorite are some of his ones that he hasn't released that he's written and he's kept to himself or he's saved them for his buddies or... <laughs> Those are the songs that really are fun to listen to to me. Like, yeah, Gary, can you talk a little bit about some of your songs that you may be playing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, my first number one was 18 years ago, a um, song called Tequila Makes a Glass Fall Off. Uh, then I followed that okay, up with uh, Back When I Knew It All uh, for Montgomery Gentry. It was the number one song. Ended up having about 11 cuts with Montgomery Gentry, and then I was fortunate enough that Blake Shelton and uh, John Michael Montgomery and Craig Morgan, Daryl Worley, they all started recording my music. Um, so I've just been really blessed, you know, so uh, I'll play a couple of those number ones on Saturday, but I'll play uh, some of the songs that I've been writing. I'm, I write solo most of the time, so I'll just be sharing some of those songs, some of the new stuff that I've written as well. So uh, it's, it's going to be a good time. And uh, but the, the, the primary focus will be on Dave Gibson with all of his multitude of hits and all the number ones he's written. And all the, all, I mean, he's just iconic. You know, he's an iconic writer. Um, and uh, you'll get to hang out with us and uh, we'll chat a little bit and just um, 
mingle and just it's really um, relaxing. You know, mm -hmm. it's. Why don't you have a full menu, won't you? Oh yeah, we have the full menu. You'll be able to order whatever food you want. When the show starts at seven, we'll probably open the doors around five thirty or six, so people can come in early, and get something to eat, and then we'll have it all cleared up and we're ready to just enjoy music. We kill all the lights, we kill all the TVs, so you're just focused on the it's stage and then listen to the music and the song. It's a really good time. So don't forget, we do have two free tickets. Um, you can call in today at the radio station. What's the number? Seven six six nine three nine three. Thanks. So um, now uh, I want to introduce to you a guy that I um, met just maybe a month ago. And I listened to his music on YouTube and uh, watched his videos. And it was really cool. And the two songs that I listen to, I, I really like. And I like your vibe. And I like your sound. And uh, that's why I wanted you on the show. And Thank his you. name is Luke Kelly. And he is here. He's going to tell us a little bit about his story. And he's going to play a couple songs for us. Well, thank you all for having me this morning. And, um, yeah, so we got a new song out on the radio called Live While You Got the Chance. A uh, song I wrote a few months back. And, uh, I mean, basically, if you could boil down the meaning to pretty much one statement, and I think me and him even talked about it last time I was here, it's just, don't take anything that God's given you for granted, you know, mm -hmm. live every moment while you can in that moment, because, you know, you might not get a chance to make that phone call again or go by and see your granny again, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's kind of what that song is about. And, uh, you know, as far as like background for me, born and raised in Texas, just moved up here not too long ago, um, kind of trying to be a little bit closer to do this because it's, it's a uh, it's hard making a studio run when you're 12 hours away uh but um man i i uh you know i had pretty normal normal upbringing you know till about high school <laughs> and then i figured out you know kind of how much fun alcohol and other things were as a young kid you know and that led me into a pretty pretty wild rambunctious lifestyle you know, so I had a few run-ins with the laws and stuff like that along the way. Not here in Tennessee yet, so <laughs> just, just in Texas and Louisiana. So <laughs> Hence why he lives in Tennessee now. No, not really. <laughs> no, look, I am off of probation. Uh, oh, okay. I've been paid right. in full. All right, I've done my community service. But, uh, you know, I, I uh, um, oh, and, and also we I know uh, we were just talking about uh, playing and whatnot. June 16th. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock, Rock Creek Coffee Company. Me and this uh, up and coming uh, kid, man. Uh, he's a really great talent. Uh, his name's Conrad Hanna, and uh, that dude right there, he's he's got some pipes on him. So uh, he'll be he'll be opening it up, and I'll be doing a, a broken down acoustic performance. So, but uh, it'll be right there. It's on the creek. Man, they got That'd fire. Be cool. Dude, they got fire pits and they serve uh, food and coffee and everything till it's till it's done. I mean, it's just a really cool setting. You bring your kids. They got cornhole, everything set up down there by the creek. So it, it's pretty neat. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, this is a song we got on the radio right now. It's called "Live While You Got the Chance."
I feel like she is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean that song's really special to me. We got a we got another release coming um I think first of July. So like close to Independence Day, it's called American Outlaw. Mm -hmm. Um it'll be a digital release. So um <laughs> uh, if, if you like the, the Rocky stuff, you know it's got it's a it's got some good vibes like that. So I think everybody will like that. And then can you we, give us a sneak peek? Uh, maybe later. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to give nothing away because that song is I so different. It's so different. I've never done anything like that one. But um it's it it was when is it released? Um it should be releasing around uh end of June, first of July. That'd probably be a good time for Mike Stetter to look at his calendar. Mm -hmm. So That's a plan. Mm -hmm. So I th I think everybody's really gonna enjoy it. We uh we went to the studio not too long ago, tracked uh, Nick's radio single. So we're getting it prepped right now and uh, hopefully be back to see him pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So, but. Will you see me right now? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, uh, that song was great. We recorded it over there at Dark Horse. Um, it's kind of like a behind the scenes video, which was really cool. We had some great players in the room. So we get that. We get that blast, man. The other one I like is Dirt, Dirt Road Church. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one. It is a fun one. The video is fun too. So yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good time on that one. Um, is that what we? Absolutely, what we you can do another. We got time. We got plenty of time. Okay. And the other other radio stations are probably jealous mm -hmm. because I know they can hear, mm -hmm. and so they're thinking, "Dang, go on! I wish I was there." <laughs> So, I think I gave you a little snippet of this last time I was here. Um, this is a <clears throat> song called Big News Small Town. Way out in the sticks, you know how it is. Everybody knows your name, you're so and so's kid. Can't do nothing without folks finding out. That's part of growing up in a small town. News is the song before it is the paper. Talk about it now. Everything's big news, small town. If I knew then what I know now, these walls could talk. I would have never left my house. Things change, people don't, still the same, same old. Somehow secrets still get out with the door closed. Oh, everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows. Everybody knows you're dirt down the county road. 
find out who broke up with who Who's dating somebody new Who got arrested and who died Guarantee you know by supper time Got one church, one school, one store Don't have what you need, then you go next door Friday night with the Lord Saturday morning trying to get away you know so but yeah that was yeah. back when we were allowed to be parents <laughs> <laughs> um i think i got a uh, one more if you want I, we've got time i i mean i just killed the schedule just so we could listen and do you want to no no i'm good okay all right yeah sure if you got one more let's let's do one more then we'll we'll go back to some real estate and then we'll call it a day okay and uh I'd love to hear you play. I don't mind. Come on out on Saturday. You go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this song is very different. Um, it's it's more modern, but this is um, this is a different take on a relationship song. You know, country music's always got that relationship, mm -hmm. you know. But this one here is like the the girl is with the bad guy, you know, she's in the toxic relationship, right? But there's this other guy over here that'll treat her right, but she's addicted to the bad boys, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's, it's a song for the good guy that, that actually knows how to treat his lady right, you know? Mm -hmm. So the song is called Back Road Queen. Every time you leave, we've been going back and forth like this for weeks. Don't want your friends to know you with me. Scared what they think, so you keep it low key. Now he's calling and texting, blowing your phone up. Don't know what to say, so you don't even answer. Cares what they think, girl, it don't even matter. Story ain't over, just the end of the chapter. Yeah. 
wide picket fence. Money can't buy love, cause if it did, you would have never walked out of him to start with. Look at the closer and I think you found it. Got a chip on your shoulder looking like a mound. Dirt road therapy, you need some counseling. Many times you've been hurt, makes you tired of counting. I wouldn't say we're live on Facebook, so maybe after the show you can give him your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is with my address. <laughs> right. Tell him I'd be knocking down your oh, door. Oh, dude, I, I did one radio station, and while while we were like live on the air talking, like some old lady called. Right? Well, we're live on Facebook, so right. right now. Right. Okay. But yeah, she called and she asked on the air. Hey, um, can I get Lee Kelly's home address? <laughs> yeah, I told the DJ, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 123 Washington Street. It wasn't him, no. It wasn't him. <laughs> well, you hit a lot of, of stations I've seen. I watched your Facebook post. And every time I looked, you were at a different radio station. Yeah, it was like six states. Wow. That's what I covered. Yeah. So we did Tennessee, Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Wow. Wow. I'd have done Florida, Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, but that gas expensive. I know. But your vacation would have been a write off. Yeah, that is true. I can never figure out how to get real estate down to Florida so you can write it off. Recruiting people to come up here and buy. Oh, well, there, that, there you go. See, I just should ask that. That's it. What would happen? I know, I forgot my bracelet. <laughs> we have bracelets made because Pat and I are so polar opposites that we have a, a break. One side says, What would Teresa do? and the other says, What would Pat do? Teresa's on the dark side. <laughs> I can understand that. <laughs> and we're back again. This is Flora Rockstars rocking the real estate news and all things local. Our special guest today was or is uh, Luke Kelly, and he performed three of his newest 
latest, greatest songs, and it was their I don't know about how great, but they were all pretty good. They were good. Yeah, they were good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good, good, good. They all, you know, they're all for our area. They all match where we live. We live in a small town. You know, we've got just over 40,000 in the whole county. So we are a small county and small towns. So it's real relevant. So, and then we had Mike Stetter from Stetter's Restaurant. And we had Gary. And Gary, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting your last name. Hannon. I'm sorry. Hannon. Hannon. Gary mm -hmm. Hannon. And Gary is is just a wealth of knowledge in the music industry, and he's got a lot of friends. Whoops, sorry. And um, a lot of um, things that he can bring to our area that maybe we wouldn't be able to have any other way. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. My thing with our show is this, our radio show is, I try to help promote people, entrepreneurs or people in the singing industry because it's hard it's hard for musicians to break out and and you know they've got families and they have kids and they need all the help they can get and i love singer songwriter category and i love the stories behind the music and that's why i like part of my show to be dedicated to singer songwriters i try to find local people you know and and um it, it just it makes for a good time and a good story, and I like to help out. So, the other thing I want to do is remind you of the blessing boxes. Um, Flora Mid South Realty also um, has a blessing box project, and what that is is there's 37 blessing boxes in the county, and there are places where we put food. And if you are, you know, struggling to get to the end of the month or, you know, you just need a little extra to get you over that hump, then that's what those boxes are for. So what we do is we take food donations, non-perishable food. We also take monetary uh, donations through Venmo. And um, we make sure that then Pat and I take 100% of those proceeds and we go shopping and... Uh, we buy as much food as we can, and then we bag it up, and we deliver it out to those boxes. And it's very, very seldom do we have enough food to fill all 37 boxes. We do have enough to usually do half. So, um, you know, at Christmas time, everybody is real eager to help, and this is a year-round project. So any help that we could get would be appreciated. You could stop by the office and... Uh, you can drop off the food or we'll be glad to pick it up. And um, so just help us remember that. Help us um, put food in those boxes for people. And I know for a fact, when Pat and I, this last Friday, wasn't it? Two weeks yeah. ago Friday. Yeah. We went and delivered food. And we, were, we always start up north in Summertown and head down west towards Iron City. We turned around and was coming back. And we happened to just glance over at boxes and they were already half empty. So... You know, it is a need. People do need, and uh, your help would be greatly appreciated. So, Nathan, tell us your plans. What do you, I'm going to throw you under the bus here. Sure are. Plans? Plans uh, for business, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, no, I just got, like I said earlier, just got through real estate school and um, wanted to get into the real estate career, obviously. Uh, it's been in my blood in some way, right? uh, some way or shape all my life. I um, love talking with people and um, just wanting to uh, help everybody with their real estate goals and dreams. I mean, it's the everybody keeps saying the, the American dream's dead. It's not. It's just a little harder to get to. Um, and I want to help you get there and, um, and reach those goals. Uh, also, with uh, investment properties, you know, uh, if you got any any desire of, of getting into that, I would love to help you along that way as well. Uh, so, just uh, give me a call at 931-345-2307. Uh, I remembered it. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. Um, and uh, get, get going with that. All right. Pat, so, what do you got? All you need is a closing. <laughs> all you need is a closing. That's what everybody says. <laughs> right, right. Just need a closing. Well, uh, like I say, we do rental properties. We also marry people because I'm a notary and treat is a notary. And we do weddings in our office. And uh, we have gone on site. And done weddings. You have. I have. I'm sorry. I have gone on site and done weddings. And uh, I'm also an auctioneer. Uh, <laughs> although I haven't done a lot of that lately. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can auction everything. And even I can auction real estate too. Because I have my real estate license as well as auctioneer license. 
I am a licensed broker. Uh, I can help you buy, sell, and also do property management. I can manage your properties if you have rental properties that you don't want to handle the day-to-day -day operations with. I can do that. And you don't have to worry about it. I just send you some money. <laughs> that's a pretty good gig. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I do all the headaches. I deal with the people that's living there. Thank God. And uh, listen to all their complaints and say, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but and, I do help them out. And one thing that sets us apart on the property management front is if uh, we, we go through the application process to get the right tenants in the right homes. And if you get approved by Pat, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> Well, we do. We vet people. We make sure they can mm -hmm. actually afford the house, mm -hmm. and it won't get them in trouble. Like, uh, oh, I can't pay my rent because my light bill's due. No, you gotta have enough money to pay rent and light bill, and then have some left over. But you can give me a call direct at nine three one three four five two seven three six, or you can call the office at nine three one seven six two four two four seven. And where are we located? We're located at 1288 First Avenue behind McDonald's, Burger King, and the radio station. Okay. All right. Um, now, thank you for everybody who has called in. And I'm going to, we got a drum roll or we got to pretend? All right. We're going to have a drum roll. And Nathan, pick a number between 1 and 10. 27. I mean, <laughs> number 1. Woohoo! 1. And who was number 1? Jason Luffman. Oh, Jason! Yay. Yay! Congratulations! You are the recipient winner of the Stutters tickets. That is two tickets to um, the Singer Songwriter Night, which is this Saturday, and um, it starts at seven o'clock. The doors probably will open at five thirty ish. Give you time to order your food uh, and uh, eat, enjoy yourself, and then we'll have a. a Really nice evening with um, some great music. And thank you, Gary, for bringing that Thanks to us. Thanks for inviting us. me on your show. Appreciate and uh, thank you all for being here. Loved listening to you. And um, I guess that's probably it. All right. And you'll be back next Tuesday? Yes, next Tuesday, our show, we have um, singer song. I won't be. Let me say that again. I won't be. I am going on vacation, y'all. So I am so excited. I leave today. Uh, I, leave did, I didn't get that memo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a surprise. That way nobody will stop me. It's a me. surprise okay. vacation. Yes. It's a surprise that, to everybody else that I'm going. Um, anyway, we've got next week, we have singer-songwriter writer Corey Lane. And he's got an amazing story from what I hear. I don't know Corey. Um, one of our agents, A.B. Embossed, she knows him and uh, knows his story. And he's going to come over and he's going to do some songs and tell us his story. And I'm excited to, to listen to that. So um, tune in next Tuesday. It's going to be another great show. And thank you all for listening. And thank you all for being here. Thank Have you. a good day. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. All right. We're going to close out with a little bit of bluegrass from No Time Flat in Flex. Oh, we forgot to tell Jason how to get the tickets. In case. I'll tell you. All right, gang. Thank you so much. You. you guys, let's turn off. Did you turn off? Hey, Jason, if you're watching on Facebook, come by the office to get your tickets. <laughs>